Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a first impressions video. I've just got um, the 60 count of the Shuttle Art Permanent Markers Fine Tip. So I've never used these before. So I am going to give them a go. So. <clears throat> yes. So let's have a look. So what does it say on the packet? It says 60 assorted colours of fine point permanent markers, quick dry, low odour, waterproof, reverse smearing or fade in, vivid, vivid ink delivers vibrant impressions and detailed lines, marks on paper, glass, plastic, metal, photos and most other hard to mark surfaces. Okay, so the first thing they could do is have a look, open it up and we'll have a look. On the back they've got their uh, information and they say you can email or download a colour chart from their website so I probably will do that but I'm still going to swatch them so we can have a look. So the first thing, I'm going to take this pink out, first thing let's have a look at it. So, very like a sharpie pen. If I get, have I got sharpies handy? Ooh, not really, they're a bit too far away. Very, very similar to a sharpie in style. Let's have a look. Right, so the tip is quite nice. I'm going to sniff it. It says it's low odour, but there is a distinct smell to it. But it is quite a nice smell. It's not a horrible smell. So there's a good range of pinks, greens, yellows, blues. Uh, uh, reds and black. So I've got my one of my... Um, Watch books here. Uh, there are no names or numbers on them, and that's fine. I will have a look at their swatch chart later and uh, just to see how they are. So, I'm literally just going to try and keep them in the same order they are, and then I'll number them when I, I can. So, that's the first pink. I will admit, it's a, it, it's a nice colour, and uh, they are, are they, they're holding on to ooh, a piece of card, well a piece of plastic actually, so I'm going to try and put them back in in this order because there's no point in swatching them. If we lose the order I won't know what the colours are and I have to swatch them each time I colour a picture with them. Oh wow that's a nice bright pink. So I think these will be good for patterns, not really tiny patterns but um, other patterns. I don't know whether they blend or I assume they will but uh, obviously this is all new to me. Let's have a look. And then we got uh, so oh that's a nice pink. I like that one. So at the moment I can really smell them. So although they say they're low odour, I think that's that was a lie. They're not as strong as, say, Sharpies or some other pens, but they are. Now, these were only $19.99 for the 60, so they are obviously a nice cheaper brand, much cheaper than Sharpies, so as much as I love my Sharpies, I might be moving over to these for a bit, if they colour all right. That's a nice pink as well. So they have some lovely pinks. Oh, that's a that's, oh, that's a very that's a dark uh, not a dark dark uh, skin tone, but it's definitely a darker skin tone. That's quite nice to see that they they are they clip on they click nicely. Make sure the caps are placed on properly. And we've got two lighter ones as well. Oh, this one. Wow, yeah, these are very nice skin type tones. Let's see how they dry. Oops, let's get this in. I've probably done it from back to front, I don't know. Just trying to make sure they're in correctly. And the last pink. See, now I could quite easily use any one of those three as the base for a skin and then maybe put some pencil over the top of it or blend it with another colour. The three together would go well. Yeah, very nice. Next, it's the greens. And again, the greens, nice selection of greens. 
Uh, these are apparently alcohol markers. So let's just check if it's going through. So yes, it is. I have actually forgotten to put my piece of paper underneath, as you can see. So they are uh, they are alcohol markers. <laughs> yeah. I just totally forgot. I got a piece of paper out especially, but that's okay. It's one of those things, not the end of It's only a swatch book. So do remember to put something, even if it's just a sheet of paper underneath. Uh, another green here. Now, I don't know how close they are to the actual colour. It doesn't look very similar at the moment, but when it dries, it may well be a bit better. So, so there's a good, good range of greens, which is nice, especially if you do a lot of flowers and, and things. So, if you can hear bangs going off, it's actually um, filming this on the 5th of November. It's bonfire night, so. There's uh, a lot of fireworks going off today. Whew, sm they, yeah, the, the smell is starting to get to me a bit now. I don't know how long you'd be able to stick using it. But then I'm not feeling that well today, so it might be just it. Oh, that's quite close. Oops, she says, colouring into the next box. Yeah, that's quite close, look. Like I said, I'm not filling up the entire hole because we'll be here forever. And the idea is that we just... Um, get this bit done and then I'll, I'm going to use some of them to um, do a bit more on a picture I'm working on which I'll show you in a minute what I've been working on for a bit so yeah another one so lots of different greens and I like these because these, some of these shades aren't ones you normally get I haven't seen them in the other brands of markers I've got so it's a shame there's no numbers or names on them but then they are a cheaper brand so got plenty of markers now I don't really need any more for a while <laughs> she says no I'm not buying any more I shouldn't have bought these really but somebody said they liked them on Facebook so I thought Do you know what I'll have a look at them I saw they were fairly cheap and I thought go on I'll give it a go nice selection of greens not not huge selection but a decent selection and that's what matters so we're brought onto the oh this looks like it's the black one <laughs> um so let's have a look at this one yeah, it's good, deep, good deep black. The thing I like about uh, Sharpies is you can buy packs of just black ones. So if you use a lot of black, you can just get a pack of black Sharpies and use those. Now on to the next uh, one, and we're, we're into the blues now. That's a very, very dark blue. It will obviously dry a little bit lighter, but it is dark blue. There are lighter blues as well. I've, I've actually gone wrong, the wrong way round. <laughs> I should have gone orange, yellow, blue. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Because the blues are here and then they're, uh, sorry, they're in a weird place. So I'm just doing these in the order they are in the book. In the box. That, the way I would do them. It doesn't really matter. That's a nice blue. Although there are a lot more blues, we're going to jump to the yellows now because just the way the box is set out is a bit odd. I might rearrange them at some point. Or I might get a case to put them in. I don't really want to... Because they're so similar colours, I don't really want to leave them all loose unless I've numbered them. Oh, that's nice. That is a very nice colour. Not worrying about streaks or anything on this. It is just a swatch chart to see what they look like. Oh, that's nice yellow. Look at that. That's beautiful. There we go. We haven't finished with the yellows, there's still a couple more. Look at that. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what the reds are like, because red is my favourite colour, so I always hope for some good ones. This will be good for the um, colour by number books, the Jade Summer ones. Uh, that is gorgeous yellow. That's the first page, so we'll... Um, 
move this round. Not an unpleasant smell. It's getting quite strong because I've um, used it quite a lot. Now, have I done all of the yellows? Did I say? I've done one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One more. So very bright. Yeah. Fluorescent type yellow, which is great. On to orange. Yeah, fluorescent orange. It's always good to have one of those. Let's pull this up a bit so you can see. Let's go up to this now. And these oranges can go over this pink bit, <laughs> these pink bits. Oh, that's a burnt orange. That's nice. I like a good burnt orange. Almost browny orange, that one. It looks very red on the, the camera, but in real life it looks more of a burnt orange. Oh, this is going to be a nice colour. Oh yes, that's the colour. That is nice. Oh, that's nice too. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely colour? Very nice. That's a few purples now. Because of the way I'm doing it, so let's have a look. Oh yeah, very nice. That's a good strong colour. Like that. The, the tops really do clip on quite hard. Okay, and I've just got to pull that over the top. Oh, that's a nice one as well. Oh, actually, I like that colour. Okay. Go next column. Oh, that is a lovely sort of purpley red colour. I bet it looks really red on screen. I bet it does. Yeah, it does. That's nice. I like that colour. We are now into the reds. hurting my hands putting these tops back on into an orangey red like that colour because normally you would probably colour a, a good section before putting the top back on so that's a nice red as well I'm not going to lie. They all look very much of a muchness on camera, but they are very different. I guess it's going to depend on how well your screen is calibrated to how you see them. Okay, last. Last of the reds, it's back to the blues. That's a good colour too. Yeah, I do like these reds. now nice oh that's a nice blue So far, I like the colour. The colour range is good. Another light blue coming up now. 
Oh, that's nice. So we're nearly there with this now. are hurting but like I said you wouldn't be normally colouring like this I mean even when I do colour by numbers I try and do all the colours for one number in one go so you wouldn't be doing that you'd have the cap on the back and oh yeah these are nice blues like I said some of the shades are very similar but that is good for when you want to mix colours and stuff so I like that this up so you can actually see it would be nice oh that's a great color look at that yeah you got your dark blues you've got your sky blues and you've got your sea blues very very nice so next we're on to sort of a the going into the brownie and the ready brown so oh, that's a nice color that is gorgeous look at that I know exactly what colour that would be for, um, looks like um, almost a gingerbread colour for Christmas and the next one's probably going to be similar, so quite an orange colour still, yeah I'd say that was an orange, it looks more red on the camera but it is actually orange, um, but it, it, yeah it goes with that sort of gingerbread colour. Nearly done with this now, and then we'll have a look at the picture I've been colouring with the other blends. I've only done two bits of it, and I'm just going to do a bit with these and see how it turns out. There you go, brown, nice deep brown. So I am now going to get the next pen out and turn the page, and we'll see how it goes. So it's coming through, but it's not coming through too much on this paper, so that's good. Might be just good pinks because the pinks are so pink so we are on to all the browns nice okay that's that one It's a nice burgundy sort of wine brown, wine red, wine brown. Oh, that's very deep brown. I like that. Lovely. more purple coming up now like I said these are all in a very strange order and I might try and put all the colours together properly I might have a look at their colour chart and see how they've done it but there's no numbering on them so it's very hard to decide what colour is what there's more sort of purpley blues come in so that's another very deep blue very deep blue with a hint of purple in it it's a very nice colour actually So it won't be long, we'll start having a look at the colouring picture. Yeah, the purple. 
purple. At least there's more purples in it. First it didn't look like there were many and now we've got to the end there's quite a few more. Well, got three more. And last column this will be. This is another sort of lilac-y purple, so a lighter colour, but looking at it, yeah. Oh that's nice. a nice colour. Just the greys to go, there's only three. Uh, a light, a uh, medium and a dark by the look of it, so we'll have a look at these. There's the one. There's number two. A light, very nice light grey. It's probably enough greys for me to be honest. I know some people love their greys and I do find it's nice to have a good selection um, for various things if you're doing a lot of stonework. And there's a number three. Right, that's this one. That's all the markers. So we're just going to have a quick look. I'll zoom out and we'll have a quick look at the range of colours. So this is the complete uh, range of colours that are in the 60 set. So this is the first page and the second page. As you can see, you've got some reds there and then there's some oranges there and the oranges there. They're all, all over the place. And there's the final ones with the rest of the purple. So that is all of those. I'm going to go and get my book now and um, have a drink and then we'll come back and have a look at what it looks like colouring. Won't be a sec. Okay, so I've got a whip in this book I'm, I want to try and finish from from October. So I started doing this with the Arteza Everblends, you can see the paper in between, and I'm doing this witch. So I've done areas of green and a black dress at the moment, um, so I'm going to start doing some of the other things. I wanted to do some weird colours in there, so I wasn't going to do this as blue sky or dark, or, or, or dark blue sky, green trees and such and such. I was going to do it all different colours. So let me just have a look at the colour chart here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this very nice brownie orange for the sky, which was my plan. So I'll just start over here. It's just to see how they go on the paper and then I'll... Uh... Nice tips. I must admit the tips are very nice. It's going on all right. It's a lovely colour and I decided I was going to do this and then I'm going to do blue tree trunks and a few leaves are going to be pink and then we're going to have red grass, purple flames. Um, yeah, all sorts of odd colours basically. They're quite nice, they go down very nicely, I will admit, I'm liking these, so that's all good. Yeah, yeah, they seem to go down rather nicely. <clears throat> so the main reason for showing this was so that you could see that I'd started the picture and used the Arteza Evelyns on the witch. Um, but the entire background and the rest of her clothing will be done with these just to see how they go. So I'm not going to sit here and colour the entire picture while you watch because that would be, you know, just silly. Um, 
but yeah I mean I like I do like the colors I think the colors are lovely so I'm just going to go away now and color this picture in and I'll come back and show you how it looks at the end when I've finished it with the shuttle arts so I won't be long okay so I finished the picture in uh, Chibi Girls Horror by Jade Summer that I was doing like I said I did the witch in black and green and that was done with the Arteza Everblend markers the rest of the picture and it is bright and it's really random colours I'll admit that um, has been done that's been done with the the shuttle arts so this is um, the picture and I really like the shuttle arts I've got to be honest they are lovely vibrant colours they streak but they don't streak too badly and as a cheaper alternative to like sharpies which they're reminiscent of in my opinion um, they're definitely worth picking up so yeah I really like this so this is the shuttle art uh, 60 colours um, I will leave links to them in the description below I got mine from Amazon I think it was 19 or something like that um, they're definitely worth picking up they're really lovely colours and they give good coverage and I really like them I'm definitely going to be using them a lot more in various um, colouring books I've been using them a lot in the last day or so since I finished that picture I just thought I'd give them a try so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, like I said they are definitely worth buying if, if you want something similar to a sharpie they're brilliant um, and they're not they don't smell as bad as the sharpie they've got a sweet smell which is quite nice so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have leave me a link uh, leave me a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one bye guys